G'day guys, today is 19th of March. We are here at Chicago O'Hare International Airport. I'm just about to board my flight to Hong Kong with Cathay Pacific on an Airbus A350. So join me as I fly with one of the best airline in the world. Cathay Pacific or CX807 departs from Terminal 5, Gate 20 of Chicago O'Hare International Airport. It takes about five minute walk a good walk from business class passenger lounge, which is operated by Swiss Sport. Boarding commenced with priority to passengers needing assistance and those traveling with children, followed by first class and business passengers such as myself. Boarding staff and flight crew were quite friendly and professional. I instantly felt the warmth as soon as I got on the plane. And welcome to my seat, 23 kilo. After getting onto my allocated seat, I tucked my hand carry luggage on in the overhead compartment, which to be honest is pretty spacious. I must say two or three more carry-on items can perfectly fit in it. It's an A350-1000 anyway. The seat configuration in this cabin is 1 to 1 with 46 business, 32 premium economy and 256 economy with a total of 334 passenger seats. Time for a pre-flight inspection. Those are the seat and entertainment controls plus a soft light that you may use for reading. On the side is a small storage bin with a bottled water, an amenity kit, a pre-installed pair of high-quality headphones, and a power outlet. There is also a vanity mirror, a small pouch to store small items such as your phone or charger. The tiny door must be kept open at all times whilst in use. By the way guys, do you recognize the aircraft parked next to us? It's the queen of the skies. Let me talk about the entertainment screen. Cathay Pacific has the largest entertainment library in Asia Pacific and winner of 2023 Skytrax World's Best In-Flight Entertainment Award. It boasts a great, massive 4K resolution display. I had the opportunity to access movies released by Hollywood, Asian cinema classics, HBO Max, and award-winning TV box sets, live sports such as Premier League, NBA, NFL, plus some selected Disney Plus originals, podcasts, and games. A bag of blanket and a fluffy chair slash bed cover is provided together with an in-flight sleep-ons. Tray table can be easily accessed with a tiny lever. Flip it open and you have a good sized meal or working table. Adjustment unfortunately is too limited with just about an inch or two. However, the seat can be moved forward and back to the desired position in reference to the tray table. Brekkie is usually pre-ordered with enclosed card and usually served a couple of hours before the landing. I opted for the Chinese breakfast which is congee with stir-fried noodles. In-flight drinks ranges from spirits, cocktails, sparkling, white and red wine. The white selection were sourced from all around the world and there are some nice Chinese specialty wines too. After getting settled on my seat, a crew came to offer me a drink and I opted for the champagne. A warm cloth was also provided to freshen up. I also changed my footwear to the sleep-ons which immediately relieved my sore feet. On the outer side of the seat is a coat hoop. Alternatively, cabin crew comes around to collect jackets which are then placed in the cupboard with a proper hand. And, uh, we'll be underway very shortly. Once airborne flight time is 14 hours and 53 minutes. Weather on route is forecast but generally fine. We're turning, north, turning right tracking north uh, pretty close to the North Pole. We'll come down over the northern area of China where we may get a few bumps uh, two or three hours out of Hong Kong and Hong Kong itself is expecting generally fine conditions. Safety briefing done, seat belts fastened, ready for takeoff.
The reading light can be turned on by this rotating knob and also to adjust for the level of desired brightness. Seat and bed controls are here. Entertainment controls this one. That, my friends, can be detached and be used as a game control as well. The amenity kit. It is supplied by Bamford London, which contains eye mask, facial mist spray, toothpaste, mouthwash, toothbrush, lotion, a pair of ear plugs, and lastly, my favorite, a lip balm. The screen has a feature to show details of the flight, such as timeline, cabin altitude, flight heading, indicated airspeed. Different views can be selected depending on your choice. May it be the pilot's view, the camera view, or a bird's eye view of your flight. As I've mentioned before, the headphones are of great quality. Unfortunately, it has no noise cancelling feature, but still giving. Let me walk you through the meals. Started off with this cold snack, shredded chicken with cucumber and carrots, plus sesame dressing. On the side is a bun, sourdough, and butter. Nice combo. For the mains, I opted for the wok fried cod, can lie with steamed rice, and double boiled broth made out of chrysanthemum, goji berry, and chicken, which is really good to relieve the exhaustion I had. For dessert, had some fresh fruits, triple cheese, which are Nicasio Valley Loma Alta, cheddar, my favorite out of the three, and California Cave Aged Blue, which I don't think it should be in this flight. I'm a big fan of blue cheese, so maybe Cathay, look for alternative. I haven't been in a lot of wide-body aircrafts, but I must say the toilet in an A350 that I've been in, such as the Philippine Air, Singapore and this one, Cathay, are the most spacious ones compared to 787s and A330s. I'm about 160-ish centimeters tall with a normal BMI and I have a lot of room to move around in here. Bamford products are used for hygiene such as hand cream, hand wash, and lotion. Oh, hand cream and lotion, they're the same. Cheers to the crew who kept this toilet and uh, clean and tidy the whole flight. Two coat hooks are available, also disposable cups for mouthwash. Setting up the chair to make it into a bed is quite easy. The fitted sheet's easy to install, and with just one push of the button, the seat becomes a lie flat bed. It takes about 25 seconds for the whole process to convert the seat into a bed. And by the way, a tip for everyone flying in business, make sure to, f to secure your belt on top of the blanket when sleeping because it helps your crew identify who's secured during turbulence. They'll thank you later. Now it's flat and perfect. The pillow is quite soft and fluffy and I'm off to sleep. That my friends is my bed and I learned bed making skills from nursing and I still do that every single shift I do in ICU. Had a snack mid-flight, a traditional Chinese wonton noodle soup and a hot green tea. This one's so good that I would like to have this if I've got hangover. Three hours into landing and the soft lights in the cabin has been switched on. This has been by far the longest flight I've been on and I must say this experience with Cathay Pacific in this A350-1000 to be specific is amazing. Friendly crew, great service, fantastic food and comfortable cabin.
as the flight comes closer to landing time, the cabin has been gradually brightened up. Good morning, thank you. Ending this flight with a very Asian meal. Had a prawn congee, which reminds me of a dish back in my birthland. It's called goto or lugao or arroz caldo. Stir fried noodles, fresh fruits, and green juice. I'm just a little bit confused. Um, what's the butter for in this set of meal? Someone, please tell me more. I would like to highlight how amazing these massive windows are of the A350. It gave me an ast a stunning view of the horizon. We were heading south at the time and to my right is a sunset view at 35,000 feet. Eventually, the cabin lights were switched on in preparation for landing. And by the way, I'm so glad to be in this flight and was able to help out in a medical situation which avoided the flight to be diverted to North America. After flying with Cathay Pacific's A350-1000 for 15 hours, I must say they do deserve the spot to be in the top 10 of best airlines. Thank you all for watching, until next time, bye for now.